creating Game Boy Color art in a sprite without palette issues. Hi, I'm Stello. Palette Guard is a free plugin. It locks each 8x8 pixel tile into a single 4 color palette, the Game Boy Color Limit. So your PNG export is hardware safe. But first, a quick hardware recap. Game Boy Color backgrounds are built from 8x8 pixel tiles. Each tile can use 4 colors taken from one palette row. There are 8 rows in total, giving you 32 colors. Think of the pointer. One tile lights up one row. Keep that rule and your art loads cleanly in GB Studio. To install the plugin, open ASPRI Preferences, then choose Extensions. Click on Add Extension, then pick the zip file to open. You can then find the plugin under Sprite GBC Palette Guard. Next, let's do some palette preparations. Line up your swatches in rows of four, so rows zero to seven are obvious. Start the plugin and choose Initial Setup. A sprite flips to indexed mode and builds a 33 slot palette, 32 Game Boy colors plus a transparent mask at slot 32. Palette tools. Three buttons, three jobs. Apply official GB Studio version 4 palette. Writes the four standard colors into indices 0 to 3 for manual palettes mode. Clamp to 5 bit RGB. Snaps every channel to the 0 to 31 range used by the hardware. DMG Mask 2-bit converts your image to the original Game Boy's 4-shade grayscale system, 2 bits per pixel, mapping each pixel to indices 0 to 3. Tile Tools Click Fix Tiles Now and each 8x8 tile is mapped to the row of its top left pixel. Need visual proof? Fix plus Report Layer adds a checkerboard over every fixed tile so you can review the changes. Real-Time Guard Turn on the real-time palette guard and keep painting. If you use a color from a wrong row, the plugin snaps the whole tile to safety right away. Export ready. Choose Export ready, flatten. The plugin merges all visible layers, removes index 32 and other stray indices above 31, clamps the palette to 32 RGB 555 colors, then runs a final tile alignment. After flattening, some tiles may shift rows under the top left pixel rule. Reassign them with real-time guard on. Load into GB Studio. Save the flattened PNG and drop it in your Projects Assets Backgrounds folder. In GB Studio, set it as Scene Background. Open the Colorize tool and choose Automatic Palettes. Because every 8x8 tile uses only 4 colors, and we stay under 8 palettes, it loads as is. Done! And that's the Game Boy Color Palette Guard. Know someone manually remapping tiles at 2 a.m.? Please share this video with them. Download from the link below. Now go make some hardware faithful pixel art, and thanks for watching.